guys. Ah, uh, wow. Funny how, uh, last time goes by. It's been, what, six months? Almost a year since I posted last? Well, <clears throat> things have gotten a little out of hand. Uh, but I'll explain all that, uh, another time. But what I will say is, I've been playing an awful lot of RuneScape lately. And, uh, I noticed a few of the recipes in the game are actually, they sound pretty good. So I thought I'll revisit uh, something I used to, which was cooking videos, but this time I will try to recreate recipes from RuneScape in real life. And seeing as how lovely December has wrought its face again, um, I figured what better to warm you up than chili con carne. Let's get right into it. First we're going to need gnomish spices. So. so in the game it specifies that uh, chili con carne is a level 11 uh, dish to cook and that it is made up of your gnomish spices and garlic which combined together at level 9 give you spicy sauce and then you just add the meat and you're done. Well, technically what I'm making here isn't exactly a sauce, because a sauce is a liquid. I am making our powdered spice. Well, all I did was I took one teaspoon of onion powder, granulated onions, teaspoon of ground cayenne pepper, teaspoon of paprika, teaspoon of, uh, teaspoon of ground cumin, a uh, teaspoon of oregano, which I then ground in our pestle and mortar to really release that flavor. And then I just added a teaspoon of garlic already. And to give you an idea of what it looks like, I have some of this dish here. Now, uh, one thing that I did go ahead and take the liberty of adding was three quarters of a teaspoon of uh, ionized salt and a quarter teaspoon of ground pink Himalayan salt. What the Himalayan salt's gonna do is it's gonna add on, to, it's gonna blend with this regular salty taste of the ionized salt, but what it's gonna do is magnify the flavors that we have in here, especially that oregano, which should come through as in taste as nicely as it smells. We're just gonna go ahead and push all this back. So essentially, we've gone ahead and made our Gnomer Spice, which this will play a role in upcoming videos as well. So now we need to go ahead and prepare our meat. Alrighty, so next we're going to go ahead and take our beef, put it in the pan. here. And now we wait. I'm kidding. This will be a jump cut. That way you guys don't have to bear through it. Alright, so our beef has been browned. Now all we have to do is we're going to drain this. And it has been drained. Now we're going to add in our other ingredients, including our number spices, one can of, or one can equivalent of diced tomatoes. And then more water. Let me go ahead and mix this up a bit. That already smells very good. Send it back down on an apparently very hot burner still. Now, if you were going to add beans to your chili con carne, even though they do not exist in the game, now would be the time to do so. Or if, conversely, you were planning on making this without beef, or any other general ground meat, you would do the same, i.e. Adding your beans in place of the beef, 
if you intended this to be a vegetarian dish. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and kick this up to a simmer. <clears throat> and the most important part, cover it. We're gonna go ahead and let that simmer for one hour. I guess I'll be back in an hour. Now I'm bringing you in to get a better view of exactly what's happening in this pan. See the tomatoes have cooked down really well. Just uh, oh, back up the camera. Just a moment ago, I actually added a small can of just a wee bit of tomato paste, just to help thicken this up, and it really did wonders. I would actually consider this ready to eat, albeit it needs to cool off for 